Woo! Hey everyone, this is Dara from Daily Crypto Trade Signals coming to you live from Vietnam. This is our evening time, a drive time update, guys. We got a couple of things to talk about. We got to talk about Zuckerberg. Looks like a lot of people are leaving the Zuckerberg Meta AI project. So they're leaving in mass. It looks like that project looks like it could be collapsing anytime soon. We're also going to talk about, uh, you know, we have almost 253 retailers now accepting Doge. So we're going to jump into that. And that is a huge, huge list, guys. This is cool beans in the house. And also, too, we're going to look at this whole new EU law with regards to KYC and transfer of crypto, anything over a thousand euros. So this is going to be a really Debbie Downer. A lot of a lot of people are not not absolutely not happy about that. And it's just going to kill the whole blockchain innovation and just put a whole Debbie Downer uh, for crypto in Europe, guys. So this is not good. Uh, this is also one of the contributing FUD factors, the FUD factors of why we're seeing a crypto going down. Also, we saw that uh, Putin, Putin gets a red card in the house uh, because he's kind of threatening uh, Europe that if you want to get the natural gas out there, you're going to have to uh, pay with rubles. And uh, everybody said, nope, we're not going to accept rubles. Get out of there. So that is absolutely coming in the house, guys. So let's... And and we're going to talk about the uh, pre-markets as well. So let's jump into it, guys. Let's absolutely jump into it. So you can see here that, you know, uh, the Putin is still talking tough uh, gas for rubles, guys. Uh, but, uh, you know, but uh, everyone's saying that, no way, we're not going to do that. And uh, But flows continue to Europe. So I think he was just maybe, you know, making some kind of uh, overtures and, and kind of making threatening stuff. But I think at the end of the day, he, he, he's not going to go through it, guys. So that is what that's all about. So let's take a look at the pre-markets right now. So pre-markets are looking pretty good. So hopefully, hopefully this will take the crypto higher and higher because it's been a really, it's been a really bad day, April Fool's wise. You know, crypto's been going down. Everything's going to be going down, de -de 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 down, down. So quite funky, guys. I, you know, it's not, it's not been a good day out there. Overall, you know, crypto's been going down. Uh, people have been de depressed. You got this Doquan character who's been threatening to, like, uh, bring uh, crypto to its knees and dump uh, Bitcoin to, to zero. So I don't, I don't know what that's all about. And that was in the previous video. Go back and watch that, guys. So the first story that's coming in right now, we got, uh, it looks like uh, Zuckerberg, the Zucker, in the, the Zucker, the Sucker in the house. It uh, looks like, uh, you know, Meta AI X, Meta uh, AI X's top talent quits. The top talents are quitting as the lab tries to keep pace with its rivals. So it looks like at least four of the prominent Meta AI have departed in recent months, guys. So it looks like a Meta's London office has collapsed and they lost most of their top people out there. So maybe people don't like to work with the Zuckerberg. Maybe that's what's going on out there, guys. And of course, you know, uh, Carl Harmon, uh, an AI entrepreneur who worked there, just said, well, you know, I'm tired of the Zuckerberg out there. And then the Meta's, the Meta's chief AI scientist, uh, Yan Lu Kun, said, well, people just have to move on. So, you know, we're not getting any real truth out there. So that is what that's all about. If we take a look at the heat map right now, we're seeing that, the, that it's looking not good, guys. Uh, but the good thing is Bitcoin is still above the $45,000 area. So that is that is so important, guys. So you can see here that, you know, we had this horizontal support line here. Uh, luckily, luckily, you guys can see right here. Let me make that a little bit bigger that you can still see that the Bitcoin is still above the 21 day EMA right here. So that is pretty bullish in the house for that from that perspective. But you can see that we had this horizontal this horizontal support line that went all the way from from this area here. Uh, at 45,000 and we are just above we are above the $45,000 area so that is important that we stay above there because that act is that's been acting as really a strong support because before that was really huge resistance level we had huge resistance at 45 so we're now uh, staying above the 45 level so that is pretty good but if we drop down there if we absolutely drop down there then we're going to be going into the 42 uh, $38,000 zone so let's hope that doesn't happen and we can see here we're just just, we just barely touched. We, you know, we just barely touched uh, the 21-day EMA on the on the uh, on the uh, daily. Uh, so that is not too not too bad in the house. But let's take a look at that on the weekly, guys. So let me just clean this up and let's take a look at this chart on the weekly right now. So you can see right now that we, in fact, we did bounce up. We did go as we did wick down on the weekly to the 21-day day EMA, and we did bounce up above that right now. So that is okay, guys. So you guys can see right now, right now we're in the 45. 
45,600 zone, and that's the bottom of this horizontal support here. So this is not funny, guys. It's not April Fool's. So we need really Bitcoin to stay in this this yellow box zone. If not, we're going to be going down, d d d d down, down. We could go as low as 38,000 in the house, guys. Uh, if we take a look at the fear and greed, the fear and greed is neutral. It's at 50 right now. Uh, so a little bit, people a little bit more scared out there. If you look at the daily on-chain exchange flow right now, we can see that 413 million uh, Bitcoin flowed off exchanges. So that is good. Beans in the house, guys. So that is good. That, that is cool. And, you know, the more Bitcoin that flows off exchanges, the better it is. It means that the amount of exchange, uh, Bitcoin on exchanges goes down, 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 down. means it becomes a scarce commodity, supply and demand out there. And hopefully the price will rise. Uh, you know, so that is looking pretty good. Also, we're seeing that Ethereum had $301 million worth of Ethereum flow off exchanges. So that means there's less Ethereum to buy on exchanges. So that is pretty cool, Beans. And the net flow of uh, Tether is uh, $20.3 million. So people will take us a profits and move those off exchanges, guys and gals. So you guys can see that right now uh, for Dogecoin, the top companies, almost 2,053 companies that now accept Dogecoin. And in April, we saw uh, we saw an increase of 14 new companies that started to accept Dogecoin, guys. So that is pretty good. We have like uh, 1,300 shops, uh, 649 internet services, uh, 167 online services, uh, 49 travel companies. 474 crypto services, so that's pretty good. 235 business services, uh, 126 web marketing, uh, 78 uh, gaming, and 158 uh, doing that, guys. Don't want to mention that on Twitter. Don't want to mention that on YouTube because AI is going to uh, get that and not be good. So, guys, don't forget to go and feed the AI, feed the YouTube algorithm, and the way you can do that is smash the likes, subscribe, be wavy, and don't forget to comment, guys. Comment up a storm. You're going to love it. I love it. So, this is also coming in right now. It looks like Shiba Inu and Dogecoin now accepted by Vancouver based meat company through BitPay. So, it looks like this uh, Shiba Inu, you, you can now be, buy your meat, your meat with Shiba Inu and Dogecoin. So, that's pretty good through BitPay, uh, through BitPay, guys. So, that is cool beans, guys. So, you can see that there's more and more catalysts for Dogecoin is happening. So for the Bitcoin enthusiasts, you, we now have integrated BitPay into our checkout, which means that you can now pay in the following cryptocurrencies, Bitcoin, Ethereum, uh, Litecoin, uh, Dogecoin, and uh, Shiba Inu token. So that's pretty good. So just a lot more catalyst. But you know, Remember, this is still through a third party, guys, not direct, guys. So hopefully, as things uh, progress and things mature, we're going to see that you're going to be able to accept uh, direct payment. So right now, if we take a look at the Shibi Weeby in the house right now, Shibi Weeby is at 25.79. And right now, the Shibi Ini is down about 5.29% on this chart. And, you know, we did get it. We did get a high. We did get a high on the 29th of, uh, you know, almost 3.0 in the house. But we've come down from that. So that's not looking pretty good. So things are just tankity tank tank. I wouldn't worry about too much. See so if you take a look at the Doja Woja right now, Doja is at 1381. And uh, do not worry, you know, worst case is we're going to be range bound between like 13 and 14 cents. The lowest that we can go, in my humble opinion, is going to be 12 cents, guys. Uh, you know, expect some turbulent, expect some roughness this weekend. And remember, you know, this is also a very turbulent weekend as well uh, because we had the CME futures that are closing right now. And this is the end of the month, guys. So expect some turbulence there as well. And you can see that, you know, right now we can see 404 million dollars worth of wreckage out there and that's about 119,000 traders uh, have lost their shirts out there guys so that is not too good in the house right now and we're seeing that over 119 million dollars worth of bitcoin has been wrecked and even zill uh, but luckily we're not seeing any doge or not seeing any shiba inu out there and we're seeing right now in the last 24 hours we should see that the majority of the positions that have been wiped out have been longs. So that is why Bitcoin is going down. But we can see the good news is the good news. If we look at the uh, if we look at the hourly time frame, shorts are building up. So that is going to push the Bitcoin up uh, on the on the four hour. Also, right now it's 50 50 shorts and 50 50 longs. So it looks like that you know based on the hourly time frame, it looks like the number of shorts are picking up. So that should take the Dogecoin price higher and higher, and the Bitcoin price higher and higher as well. So that is pretty cool beans in the house uh so this also coming in looks like the biggest disclosed bitcoin treasuries we got microstrategy is number one they have over 125,000 bitcoin tesla with 43,000 bitcoin we got terra this is doquan right doquan right now has 30,727 
of Bitcoin. And he's been talking about dumping them and trying to send Bitcoin down to zero, guys. So keep an eye on that. We've got Marathon Digital, eight, which has 8,000. And we also have Square that has 8,000, Jack Dorsey and us, guys. So that is pretty interesting. But right now, MicroStrategy is the biggest uh, corporate entity holding Bitcoin. So that is huge. And that is cool beans in the house. So if you look at the, talk about uh, Metaverse, these are the top food chains that now uh, are thinking about and getting into uh, Metaverse. We've got KFC, Wawa, Arby's, Hooters, uh, Chipotle, Wendy's, Taco Bell, Pizza Hut, Flavortown, Burger King, McDonald's, Jimmy John's, Panera Bread, Panda Express, Dunkin' Donuts, Baskin Robbins, Buffalo Wings, etc. I'm getting hungry. That was a that was a hungry list. I'm hungry now. So those are the those are the retailers, the food companies and food chains that are aping into metaverse, and that is just cool, guys. Because you know we can see that there's more and more adoption of crypto, more and more adoption of uh, blockchain, metaverse, and this is huge, guys. And that's why I really think that metaverse is going to absolutely explode in 2022. You know we see all of these epochs, right? In 2021, we saw like DeFi went nuts. We saw, you know, meme coins when that's, you know, like it was like meme craziness in 2021. And what is really going to be huge in 2022 is going to be metaverse. Everybody's aping the metaverse. Even the Zuckerberg, the Zuckerberg changes company. We got a huge catalyst, you know, Disneyland, uh, tons of food companies aping into metaverse and metaverse and play to earn games are also going to be huge, huge, huge. So remember, this is not financial advice, but you definitely want to be looking at, you know, gaming tokens, metaverse tokens, and all this kind of sweet stuff, guys. So that is cool beans in the house, guys. So other stuff that's coming in right now, uh, this is from The Root, and he's saying after surgeries, there are pullbacks. And what we're seeing right now is a very healthy and normal pullback. Pull back, you know, because you need to pull back, take off a, l a little bit of steam, and then boom, boom, chakalaka, you're going to see biddy start to rise even faster than ever before, guys. So, you know, Root roots says after surges, there are pullbacks, hodl, and make sure you're being part of the long term trend. So there's going to be some turbulence. There's going to be some waviness. Don't panic out there. We have seen this kind of thing before. And you know, we're only seeing the crypto markets down about 5%, guys. So, you know, Bitcoin right now is down only 3%. So this is not a crash. This is just, it's just a correction, guys. It's just, a, it's just cooling off. So do not panic about that. Bitcoin gets a red card. Absolutely, Bitcoin gets a red card in the house, guys. So we need to keep on keeping on. So also breaking news, Goldman Sachs will begin offering Bitcoin to its high net worth. So this is bullish, guys. This is absolutely bullish. I mean, Goldman Sachs is no lightweight. And, you know, they would not be wanting to offer crypto and Bitcoin to the high net worth individuals if they didn't think this thing was going to go up. I mean, if you're if you're if you're like Goldman Sachs and, you know, you, you tell all your you know rich clients, look, a pin to poopoo schmata and they lose their shirt. They're not going to be your clients anymore. So obviously Goldman Sachs has done the due diligence and they have looked into this and this is true beans in the house, guys. So that is pretty good. So it looks like, you know, it's going to be, it's been a busy day for the EU knuckleheads out there uh, who have just voted in favor of this disastrous legislation uh, on crypto with the new EU anti monitoring law package, guys. So this is bad, guys. And basically this whole thing, uh, what you guys need to know about this, why is the EU, EU's trying transfer funds regulation this is called trf in case you're wondering what it is it's a threat to financial freedom guys and it's gonna it's gonna make sure that you know there's gonna be increased surveillance there's gonna be all of this stuff and it just doesn't make sense because if you have a ledger wallet or a tracer wallet or hard wallet of your own how the double he hockey sticks do you KY, KYC uh, yourself? So, you know, just to paraphrase right here, things you need to know about this whole new TR, TRF. Now, if you're in America, it doesn't apply. If you're in Asia, it doesn't apply. But if you're in Europe, OMG. So, uh, thank goodness the UK is out of the European Union. That was a win. So, the transfer of funds regulation TRF aims to prevent uh, payment system from being used to launder money or financial terrorism and uh, all that kind of stuff. So, I have no problem with that. That's fine. First applied to additional payments in 2015, the TFR is being expanded also to cover transfer of crypto assets. This is the EU implementation of the Financial Action Task Force. Of FAF, uh, this is the, FAF, the FATF rule. Travel will, however, the TRF goes beyond uh, recommendations of the FATF in ways that would have unintended consequences. And here we go. If adopted, the TRF would impose fat, vast financial surveillance regime in Europe strife, innovation, and uh, undermine self-hosted wallets. 
self-hosted vaults. That's hardware wallets in case you wonder where that is. Uh, that individual used to securely protect their digital assets, right? Because you know, you don't want to leave your crypto on exchanges forever. At some point you want to take your crypto and put it on hardware wallets, right? Absolutely, and, and you know, you can hold that for life changing wealth, hold it, give it to your kids and all that kind of stuff, guys. So this is not good. This measure would also diminish Europeans' capacity to seize the full potential of the blockchain revolution and offer a competitive advantage over other regions. So it looks like Europe is gonna be sent into the stone ages in terms of financial freedom and a financial revolution. So they're just gonna be going backwards in time. This is really a knucklehead, um, uh, new law that's been passed has been voted has been passed guys this has been passed believe it or not omg it is crazy in the house guys so that is not good in the house so you know once again let's take a quick look at uh, uh, bitcoin on the daily uh on the four hour chart excuse me you can see it broke out of this uh sideways uh, triangle which was really positive news then we broke above the $45,000 level, uh, so that was good. We were at the 45600 level because that, as I said earlier, the 45600 level is a key support level that we need to hold. Uh, so we're just at it now, and then, you know, we were trading beautifully inside this box at 48.2, uh, between 48.2 and 4,600, and things were looking pretty peachy keen, and then we were looking at our next target at $52,000 in the house. So I wouldn't panic too much, too, too much in the house. Uh, we're going to get up there. You know, we have seen that, you know, on the daily chart, we, on the daily chart, we are seeing a nice uh, head and shoulder pattern. So, you know, here's the head, here's the shoulder, here's another shoulder. So we're looking, seeing a nice head and shoulder pattern on the daily. So that is a pretty positive, uh, you know, indicator in the house. And hopefully that will take us uppity up, up in the not too distant future. So I'm not panicking right now. Absolutely not panicking right now. So let's take a look at Ethereum in the house. Ethereum right now is at 3,358. It is doing better than where it was about four hours ago. So that is pretty good. Uh, we're seeing that right now that, uh, that ADA, uh, Solana, sorry, excuse me. Solana right now is not doing too bad, not doing too shabby. Actually, Solana has been defying the odds. It's at $128.66 in the house, so that is pretty good. And it's actually defying the odds. It's actually outperforming Bitcoin right now, so that is not too shabby. And we're seeing that Phantom has gone down, did -de 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 down from where it was yesterday. I mean, Phantom uh, yesterday uh, hit, hit a high of 100 and, 122 in the house, and right now it has gone down 7%. Uh, so we're at a, a buck 13. So that's not looking too good, but uh, but uh, Solana is looking pretty good in the house, guys and gals. Sorry, that was ADA. Sorry, my bad, my bad. So ADA, my bad, ADA in the house. Uh, yesterday was at 121, and now we're back down to 113. So we've gone down about 7% in the house. So that is not too bad, not too shabby. Uh, we could be worse, guys, could be worse. Absolutely could be worse. So I'm not too, not too worried, not too scared about that. So that is okay in the house. Let's take a look at the total market cap. Let's get out of here. We have to get out of here. So the total market cap, maybe there's a minty refresh, maybe sure we get all the right coinage in the house for you. We're seeing that the total market cap is at 2.14 trillion. Now remember, we were at like 2.2 earlier. I was seeing the volumes, OMG, 104 billion, and the Bitcoin dollars is coming down, so that is good. That should put some more, more gas in the tank for the uh, cryptocurrencies. And we're seeing right now that uh, Bitcoin is down 4.35% in the last 24 hours. We're seeing that uh, Ethereum is down 4% as well. We're seeing BNB is down 3.2%. Now Solana is only down 1%. Like I said, it's not doing too shabbily and it's at 124. We're seeing ADA is down almost 6% at 115 right now. Luna Tuna uh, is down of 5.49% at 102. So keep an eye on that. If this Doquan Quan thing is true and he starts dumping the Bitcoin, people are going to be shorten, shorten the pants off of Luna Tuna and uh, Luna Tuna could take a dumpity dump dump guys. So Avalanche is oh doing Avalanche is not too bad. It's only down 6.45%. Dottie Watt down 7. We're seeing Doge is down almost uh, 7%. And we're seeing Shiba Inu, Shiba Weebi Weebi is down 8.4%. So things are not looking too good. It's a pretty much a bloodbath out there. There's a lot of carnage out there. So guys and gals, that's going to bring this uh, video to an end. Don't forget to go and follow me on Twitter. Go down there and boop, boop the like button. Subscribe if you will. And don't forget to comment, comment, comment and spread this uh, video out there. Share the love. Share the love guys and uh, you know don't forget to go and check out the merch merch get the merch you want the merch get the monkey mug get the cap to cap so that's going to bring this video to a close guys so i just want to say one final thing god bless each and every one of you do not panic i think that you know by next week we're going to be back above forty six thousand. everything's going to be fine and this little bit of correction will be completely forgotten out there guys so i love it you love it be humble be safe 
Don't panic. Do your own research. It is a crypto jungle out there. Guys, I love it. You love it. This is the Ric Flair of crypto. Remember, none of this is financial advice. Just an OG in the house expressing his opinion. And this is a great time to be alive, guys. And things will get better. Trust me, they absolutely will. I love it. You love it. Let's get it, guys. Woo!